Don't want to get bit by Slinky. Whoa. He does not want to go. You have to go, my friend. So ah. this is this <laughs> much. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Hey, what's going on everyone? Ken in here, and uh, as you can imagine, I'm getting ready for Hurricane Dorian. Uh, it's a Category 4 storm. This is Slinky. We got him out. I'm hanging out with Kate. We're all getting ready, man. Um, super stressful right now. We are uh, starting to put animals away. And, um, well, luckily for me, I was doing something in Slinky's cage. He started walking out, so I thought, let's start with Slinks. So, uh, this storm, you know, right now it's just a little bit east of the Bahamas. It's uh, gonna start, the weather's gonna really start to deteriorate. I'm really scared because I've never gone through a category four storm. Um, th this is gonna be the biggest storm I've ever been through. Uh, so it's, it's super intense. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna trust these cages because we have all these pine trees. Look at all the pine trees around, hun. Look at all those pine trees that are just kind of there. Uh, the problem is, is one of these branches, or heaven forbid, an actual tree falls, it'll crush the cage. So obviously I don't want to leave the animals in the cage. So what I've done, here I'm going to put Slinky down. What I had to do is I went up in my loft here and I started pulling down all my tubs. All of the enclosures uh, or all of the places that I can store animals. So <clears throat> my thinking is this, I'm going to put Slinky uh, in this larger fin, but this is just giving you guys an idea of what we got to go. Where are you going, Slinky? Don't you start running away from me now, man. Don't start running, dude. I need you to stay in here. See, Slinky gets a little taste of the outside. And, and like I said, this was just kind of something that happened. I just don't want Slinky to leave. You stay right ah. there. He can hang out on the head. Um, can I ask you a, a technology question? Yeah, what's that? I got a red light blinking on the side. Does that mean it's a low battery? No, everything's good. Okay. Everything's good. Oh, wow. Yeah, here. And you can even get all up close and personal, so you don't have to get near Slinky Poo. Uh, he's just running down. So you follow Slinky, um, and I'm going to get this ready. I'll show everyone in a minute how I get it ready. But there's some things I wanted to do first. He's gonna go behind this house and then. That's all right, he'll go swimming. Oh, all Jesus. Right. All right, you're All right, so guys, I'm gonna run and get Slinky here in a minute, but first I just wanted to get a little hay into this, uh, into this area here because this is uh, gonna be the most comfortable thing for Slinks. Oh, nice. here, guys. I had to flip that turn. Yeah, that's very nice of you. All right, you're off best. I, as you can see, I'm stressed out. This, a little. this is not fun, man. I mean, it's not something that I really like doing, but I use this to transport Darwin from California and Slinky's gonna go in that. Um, so, Slinky went around here, you said? Yeah, he went around the back. You right, know, follow his, me. His good old, he likes that path. He does, he likes going back there and he loves to explore. I've already got all the leopards in this shed and all the snow leopards. So the leopard tortoises are in here and um, you know, it's just it has to be done. So you can, you can see all the leopard tortoises. Uh, they're in there. I'm gonna put Hercules in there. The key is with a category four, uh, four storm, uh, I've ne like I said, I've never experienced, that's 130 mile an hour winds minimum. Um, these are rated for category three. So I'm hoping that they'll be able to stand up. It's super stressful. Now the latest track has this storm not hitting us directly, but if that's the case, that's, that's good. The problem is we're still gonna get massive winds from this storm. All right, here's Slinky, he's, he's trying to be a lizard. He's trying to be a monitor lizard and he's trying to um, look for food because that's what he does. He's the Slinkster. As you can, I, 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 don't fight me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, gosh, Slinky. He's being a good boy, he hasn't bit me, which is fantastic. I don't want to get bit by Slinky. Whoa. Oh my God, Slinky. I gotta treat him a little rough here. Oh my god, he's powerful. He does not want to go, but he has to. You have to go, my friend. Come on, everyone. Follow me. So ah. this is, just watch that tail, hon. He's gonna get me with it. Oh my god, Slinky, why are you being a jerk? He really does not feel 
like going into into this pen or rather this cargo hole but it's necessary guys we don't want slinky to get hurt or crushed and we definitely don't want him to get loose ow ow go in there go in there he's like a little kid i don't want to go good job huh oh, yeah real real fun it was oh. a little touch and go there for a second. It was a little touch and go. Now, we gotta make sure these are shut. And you know what I gotta do? I gotta make sure they're tied up. There's so much to worry about. I just wanna keep them in. If he presses against it, well we have these, thank goodness. But if he presses against it hard, I don't want him to get out. That would be bad. That would be no bueno. Be like that scene in uh, Wizard of Oz where like the cows are going by the window. There goes Slinky. Yeah, this sucks. This is just the worst. Now, being that I have this stuff, I think we're okay. He can't push out with this, but you know what? I'm gonna just go ahead, cut this here. You never know what this guy's capable of. Well, that's the thing. We know that he, uh, he can pull snakes through wire. That's true. So it's safe to assume that this dude's strong enough to actually break through this. I don't know. I need to get another wire for that. So you can see just to, like how long of a day this is going to be putting all these animals up. I like to get the animals out of the most work away first. And Slinky is certainly an animal that fits that category. So I'm just going to tie this like this. And now we are good see there's no way that's rattling off these are good he's fine now the next thing i gotta do come on over here um the way i figure it is this is a, a strong building that's rated for like category three storm um this is a building within a building so obviously we have the snakes in here what i'm going to do next is i'm going to take the python out of the vision cage i got to put it in one of these one of these because they clamp down better so we're going to go ahead and get Buttercup out, but I want to get some hay in here for her. There's always something to do. Um, the state makes me keep these snakes. I have to keep any conditional species inside a locked room in a locked building in a, in a cage. Um, so I just put these here temporarily, these little paper things, because I knew I were going to do a video. So we're going to open this up. I usually have my locks here. I got a lock for the cage. Because you want to make sure that she's not getting fed. Kate, you don't have to leave. Come back in. What? I, I, I got long arms. I'll, just, I'll stay out here. So you see, I let her know that she's not actually eating. And then I have to pull her out. And I'm just going to put her into this. And so she'll just hunker down in here. And we're going to lock this up. She's holding on to that pretty good. Now, um, I, I get a lot of these questions about, do you think the animals feel there's a storm coming? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, they can tell when the barometer goes down, so they know something's up, for sure. Do they act different? Uh, you know, they just want to hide. I've noticed uh, they know when things are going wrong. You see the wild animals that act the same way. They want to hide. They want to basically find someplace safe because they know they got to wait out these storms. Uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to pull this paper out. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm gonna put Lola and Guapo inside this. Oh wow. Yeah, they're gonna go in here uh, next. So I'm just gonna go ahead, pull this out, throw it away. You can see, man, it's just, I'm totally sweating and it sucks. I mean, I'm sweating and I'm not really doing much. It's yeah, hot out. It is hot out. Um, and you can see, it's just, I'm way different, man. I gotta be honest with you guys, like this is, this is one of the more stressful things about owning all these animals. I hate hurricanes. It's weird, I hate them and I like them. I, I like being tested by nature, but at the end of the day, I don't want anything to happen to this place because obviously we have such an emotional attachment to our homes and our animals. We don't want anything to happen to them. But I would be lying if I didn't say there's a part of me that wants to, you know, persevere you know, as it is. And you know what, we don't have really much of this paper left. I'm just gonna put some hay in there for them. I'm gonna put some hay in there. So this room is like the bunker of Camp Cannon. It's not really a very fun room. You'll notice, whoa, you'll notice that um, many of the animals, many of the snakes are already out. There's only a couple of snakes in so far. I'm gonna go get the rest of them here in a minute. 
Uh, I need okay. a little hay. Uh, so let's just do this. And we also have to worry about <clears throat> the sulcates and the galops. Um, so there's so much that has to happen. So let's get this stuff in here, spread this around, and let's go get Lola and Guapo next. Let's do it. Watch your head, hon. Got it. Okay, look, here are the two loonies. Maybe I can get both of them out. Now, don't forget, we also have to get the uh, monkey tails. I'm going to leave the Chinese box turtles in here. I might put the Chinese box turtles, uh, I'm gonna put the Chinese box turtles into the bunker here. You wanna see it? There's the bunker. We can see I'm it. gonna put them in that. And um, basically, they'll be okay. That's up off the ground. I don't think this cage is gonna get smashed down to the bottom. Whoa. So we're double fisting iguanas here. Let's get them. Let's get them go. They don't like being carried. They like to stay towards the ground. But again, guys, this is just necessary. If I don't do this, these animals are going to be in deep trouble. So this is part of the responsibility we have. Hey, don't fight each other right now. <laughs> there goes Lola. There goes Guapo. And this is just their reality for the next 48 hours. Because this storm is going to be a slow moving storm. Which means we're going to get uh, extended periods of serious, serious weather. Oh, hey, here's some other little animals too. Hello. Other animal we have to keep safe. Let's get a little bit of padding for the... Um... Now, I know you were mentioning to me the concern about flooding, so... That's why we're doing this. Um, on a category or tropical storm, I might have just locked the animals right in their bunkers. Mm -hmm. But being that it's going to be such a major storm, I'm not taking any chances. We've already had, if you come over here, check this out. We've already had considerable, considerable flooding. You can see there's flooding here. This is just normal rain. I'm concerned that if we get uh, 30 hours of rain, this is really gonna be a problem, guys. It's really gonna be like a serious issue, um, you know, with all that, you know, so I wanna go that way, yeah. So it's, um, it's something that's, uh, you know, a big concern, you know? So obviously with the tortoises, we don't want them to drown. So it also throws a wrench in my plans because I can't just lock the tortoises in bunkers some of these bunkers aren't going to be able, like for example, that little shed will probably wind up getting inundated with water, and I don't want the animals to be locked in to where they can't, where they would actually, you know, drown. So that's a problem. So okay, let's go get the monkey tails, and these guys are a challenge because these guys always try and bite me, and they've got the gnarliest claws going. So um, yeah, you, you've been warned. So check it out. Get all up on in here, babe. Get okay. that gun. Oh, there's some food that needs to be dumped out. Got to get rid of that. It rained last night. All right, here, just so you guys can kind of see what I'm dealing with. I got to stick my hands in there and somehow get these two lizards out without them biting me. And they're both kind of jerks. So here we go. We're going to go for, oh, look at how their heads are too. If I put one hand in, the other guy's going to bite me. Ugh. This sucks. I'm scared. I'm so scared. I'm so nervous. This is awkward. I'm filming. All right, guys. Wish me luck. Should I go for the big one or the little one? I'm going for a big guy. Big guy first. Oh, God, don't it. Don't bite me. No, little guy. Oh, God, I got the little girlfriend. All right, little girlfriend. Oh, jeez. What do you want me to do with it? I don't know. Oh, God, don't bite give me. me. Here, just give me this. Okay, let's see. It should be my friend. We got to just go like that. Okay, there's one. Whew. Oh, and I got to tell you, there... there their claws are incredibly sharp. And even though they're herbivores, you don't want to get a bite from a monkey-tailed or Solomon Island skink. So, so uh, yeah, there you have it. Look at her. Isn't she beautiful, wow. though? Yeah. Such a cool Curious, lizard. Mommy. Such a cool lizard. All right, hold on. Let's get Solomon out. Don't do it, Sol. Okay, here's Solly. Wow, he's huge. He's a big boy. I now forgot he's how big hurt. he was. Okay, let's go. Let's get them let's quick. Go. You because, got them. Because the quicker I get this in the, the thing, the less my arms get shredded up. All you lizard lovers know that you can get shredded arms when dealing with lizards. So they have a little hideout. They can go hide in there. No big deal. Everyone's happy. It is what it is. Hey, no, I guess he wants to come back out. Get in there, Solomon. Sophia knows Solly. All right, now we put Solomon inside. Okay. So Saul, Lamont, 
will go over here. And I'm going to get in here later, guys. I'm going to clean up and organize it much better. I'm just trying to get things ready. All right, let's go over here now. What we're going to do next is we're going to use these two critter carriers, and we're going to go get the lunatic rhino iguanas oh, no. and our blue iguanas. Will you close the door, honey, for the turtles? What door? What door? Hey. Right there, Angel. Right up next by that door. Yeah, both yeah, doors. There's no that. lizards in there. You're okay. There's a little bedding. Here's a little bedding for them. Okay, let's go. This should be interesting because they're the, the wacko lizards. Got it, babe? Good girl. Oh, and I also got to get Rumpy to well. better the truck. Oh, yeah. We He's okay right there, right? He's for okay now? for a moment. Yeah, we're letting him rest. Lumpy's got that feeding tube and it broke. So I just got back from the veterinarian. I mean, things are just... When things go wrong, they really go wrong. Um, anyway, so, okay, here we are. We are uh, now with this lunatic. I'm gonna go in and uh, wrangle him up, which is not gonna be easy. I gotta get to this cave before he does because this is the guy, by the way, he, I had chased him down the entire house. Oh yeah, he's the fast one. He's a fasty. Hi, buddy. So I gotta be smart, because I don't want him to get in this cave. If he gets in this cave, I'm not getting him out. Um, so I've got to be pretty quick. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I'm going to put my knee in front of the door. And uh, you're going to go over there. And he's going to come over here. And I'm going to try not to get bit. Ah! What the fuck? He got out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Just don't laugh. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. He's over here. He's over here on the patio. Should have had you holding the door. Sorry, I was trying to get the good shot. Don't worry about the shot. Yes. Don't you do it. Oh, oh. Oh. This lizard always tries to get out. He always. I need a break. <sighs> so, will you go inside and get Ken in some water? This is terrible, man. I hate hurricanes. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You were too slow this time. Haha. <laughs> oh, and I ripped pants and everything. And I stabbed myself with that date palm thorn. Oh. You're a jerk! Oh. So you see, this is, uh, I should have had Kate standing by the door. <sighs> Sorry, I was, I was trying to have my inner you didn't Tom. Know. I was you trying didn't to know. get a good shot. I'm gonna have an infected finger from that pricker on me. Oh, no. It's, it's so now the hurricane. Why don't you put him in the thing and put some medicine? Let me get water first. <sighs> my nephew, my nephew gave me a really cool cup. It's, it's got lizards and a snake and fangs. It's a snake. He cup. made it. Oh, oh. Okay, thanks, hon. All right, well, I got him. <sighs> this guy's a lunatic. That was really fast. I mean, you were on the move there. Well, I've been doing cardio lately. Than you. Thank God for that cardio, and I thought you were gonna fall in the pond for one second. Oh. You crack your head open, and then that would not have been good. Well, does anyone want a lizard? I think we should. <laughs> Don't be a jerk. <laughs> Get in there. He's just so fast. He's pretty fast. But old crazy legs harken got him. Yeah. I'm gonna have a heart attack too. Yeah, I stabbed. It's it's funny these date palms. They have little thorns on them. Okay. And the tips of the thorns have bacteria. Maybe on them. we should cut, and you should. Uh, go no, no, tend it's not that. that no, that's not a big deal. I'm in the hospital. Everything's fine. Let's go. Next mental case lizards so that drama. could potentially get out, which we're gonna have Kate stand by. Come on. Oh yeah, I'm, I'll be a good block. Well, you're gonna just actually this. I was smarter. I was smarter with this. I'm gonna make a latch. That latch is from the inside. That latch is from the inside. Okay, and then this way. Big, big. Oh, they're already. So much fun. I'm going in. Oh, okay. And I'm just going to hold the door. Is that what you want me yeah, to do? Yeah, just hold it shut. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, criminy. Oh, criminy. Criminy. Oh, you one. got one. You got oh, one. It's, we got a squirter. We got a squirter. As you can see, the lunatic rhinos are still lunatic rhinos. Uh, all right, hold on, Kevin. The key is, let's get, oh wow, biting, huh? Biting the enclosure? 
No bueno, baby. Oh, wait, he's got a big poop going out. I don't care. Get you it out. You want it in the head? <laughs> we'll shake it. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. <laughs> There's that one. Okay. Now, bye bye. Not yet. It's not all. I gotta go fast because this is the guy who's a real. All right. So do you want me to close the door? Not yet. Famous last words. Can I get a break? I just asked you. I'm doing. This is why I do the hard stuff first. You know what I mean? Like when you have all the energy. Tortoises are easy. They're just heavy. You gotta move them. It's more laborious and it's more time consuming. These animals are spindly, energetic, it's really warm so they're wound up. So I wanted to make sure I get these guys away first, because imagine trying to do this uh, during uh, the weather as it's deteriorating. Not good. Uh, so, <laughs> this is pretty exciting stuff. Okay, here we go. Hesitation will get you killed. Wow, easy. <sighs> And you can see, I want to show you guys also an update while we're doing this. You can see, look at his, his uh, snout is healing up. Okay, so his snout's healing up nicely. Uh, there'll be new flesh. He's got that goofy little tongue that sticks out. So, I don't know. We should name him. Uh, what's his name? Yeah. Is, I don't know. He's pretty cool. What do you think, Soph? They used to, they used to be Crazy Sophia and Crazy Leo. Oh, is that what they used to be? Crazy Sophia and Crazy Leo? Yeah. I'm going to call this one Crazy Sophia, even though it's the boy. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go. Let me stand up. I should also mention that I hurt my back a while, a couple days ago. Do you want me to maybe grab this thing? Yeah, can you grab that, please, and twist the entry, the, uh, the opening towards me. Good, thank you. Do now, you want me to put, let's, why yeah. don't I put it out here? No, and no, 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 out. because if we put it out there and she jets out, then I'm not, this uh, one, true. I won't be able to catch. True. True. Here we go. Okay, all done, all better, uh, everything's uh, done. Uh, uh, done. Okay, all right, all better. Okay, pet taxi away. Let's go now and bring these guys inside. Then I gotta get Lumpy in. And then I'm just gonna show you guys what I have to do for the rest oh, of these animals. Oh, Woo! So much work. But if you love reptiles, you'll do it happily. Okay, here you go, Mom. Here you go, Mama. I love you. It's good having a mom to help out. Let's go put these guys away. Crazy lizards. All the crazies. I can't believe that lizard got out and you caught him. I can't believe it either. That was a total disaster waiting to happen. Imagine if that poor animal escaped made a nice the mess right the storm. I would not be happy about that. Let's put these guys in the warehouse. I'm gonna be building a whole new lizard complex cage that's gonna house all my lizards. It's gonna be huge and it'll be designed in a way that'll be easy, that there'll be no, uh, no way the animals can get out because there'll be airlock doors and stuff like that. All right, what I'm gonna do, I'll put these two right here facing the wall. Um, again, I'm gonna get in here and really straighten it out, but I don't think you guys care to watch me clean. Let's now go on the truck. We know we got Slinky here. We're gonna push Slinky in later. Um, we've got all these, look at all these fins. They're gonna be filled with the tortoises, the medium species, the cherry heads, the elongated, the red foots. Um, Hercules is gonna go into this shed. Um, there's so much that has to be done. Let me show you what I got going on with, uh, Lumpy. with Lumpy. Why don't you uh, ride in the back? You guys can have a look. So here's the latest on lumps. So Lumpy had to be um, had to be uh, dosed again, and they had to put a thicker feeding tube in. Uh, unfortunately, the other feed tube got clogged up, and uh, we had to remove it so I could get food down there. He's dehydrated. Uh, that's what his blood work came back as. So I'm going to be putting a lot of liquids in Lumpy, but right now we're going to drive over to where Lumpy is staying. All right, he needs rest, so go on in. I'm just gonna back her up. Oh, hi everyone, I'm back. Uh, really short drive from one side of the property to the other. Lumpy's gonna stay in this garage, as are the radiated, uh, and probably Darwin. I'll show you what we're gonna do with Darwin. Um, but anyhow, here we go. Let's get this thing out first. We're gonna get the bin out. I'll show you guys how I do this by myself. So 
what I want to do, and this makes it kind of easy as we have to be gentle with lumps in his delicate condition, but this bed line is nice because the floor slides easy. Lumpy, uh, lumpy, lumpy weighs now 131 pounds. Yeah, you hold that, hun. Thank you. And we just gently ease them down like this. All right in. Good boy. That's a boy. Now we just wheel them out into the shade. All right, so I went and I kind of made all kinds of, uh, I cleaned, we have some shutters. These are the last shutters to put up. Gonna wait till tomorrow when the winds start to begin. But you can see, you have to board up the house. See those shutters on the windows? Those shutters protect the windows against any flying debris. Since I live inland, surrounded by trees, safe to say there's gonna be some limbs and debris floating all over. Now these guys are gonna come in. I've got bins for them. Uh, and then here's what I'm doing with Darwin. We're not gonna make it in this video because I really gotta get serious about getting things done. And this is gonna be a long project. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna open up this gate. I'm gonna put Darwin inside this trailer, hook the truck into it, and then put this trailer inside the, uh, inside the garage. Uh, and then of course I'm gonna get Darwin and Socrates, excuse me, I'm gonna get Socrates and Nostradamus uh, into a safe space as well. Reason being, I do believe this is gonna flood. I don't know if it's gonna flood high enough to where these guys will be in serious danger, but my concern is, of course, a tree falling on one of these animals. Um, their shells can only do so much, and uh, we definitely don't want anything to happen to them. So I'm not taking any chances. I'm bringing these guys in. Uh, it's gonna be a bit of an ordeal, but then again, this whole thing's an ordeal. So look, we've been shooting for 31 minutes. I think it's time for Tom to get to work because I've got a lot of work to do, as does the rest of the family. We all have chores to do. The number one thing is about keeping my family safe and that family extends to my animals. So I really appreciate you guys and your help and watching these videos. I want to thank Kate and mm. the kids for helping out. I love you guys. Uh, uh, that's it. I'm glad you found your sandals. Good job. There's another, there's a little storyline. Uh, we didn't, we, we didn't know if we were going to wrap that up. Well, we but did. We got, we, nice we closure. Uh, okay. So guys, wish us luck. Um, I hope and wish that everybody is safe during this storm. Uh, let's hope that it continues to stay east of the mainland and we don't get a landfall. That being the case, I hope everyone's made their preparations because these storms are no joke. And we live in a 21st century world where we are able to have advanced warning. Um, this is the awesomeness of nature. Uh, so we have to respect her, do the best we can, uh, uh, best we can for our families and our animals, and I'm going on. Like and subscribe. Don't forget to go to patreon.com slash campken if you want to help support the camp. This place will definitely be changed after the storm. To what degree, I am not sure. Please hit the notifications button as well. Wish me luck, everybody. Thank you, and good luck to wherever you may be.